What's going on everybody? I'm Animus J and welcome to another Minecraft Pocket Edition or Bedrock Edition Redstone tutorial. This one is going to be on an automatic chicken breeder and cooker. That's right. You will not have to touch this thing. Okay, well, you will have to touch it a little bit, but you are not gonna have to come over here and feed these guys and all that kind of stuff in order to get food. This thing is a self-running machine. So the way that it works is we've got a bunch of adult chickens over here, they're laying eggs, and as they're laying their eggs, it's hatching babies over here, and when the babies over here uh, hatch, they're sitting on a half slab that the lava that's gonna spit out of that top dispenser can't touch. However, adult chickens are tall enough that when the lava spits out, which it's going to spit out every time an egg is laid, and you'll see that soon, that the adult chicken will burn up and its meat will get sucked down by the hopper and it's going to go into this chest right here. As you can see, we've got cooked chicken feathers right there. And there you have it. The adult chicken got burned up and we went from a five cooked chicken to six. Now, one thing I forget to mention at the end of this tutorial is that if you find your chicken cooker is not working, it may be because your adult chickens have laid too many eggs all at the same time. Uh, if that's the case, all you gotta do in order to check that is break the block next to the lamp and then check your dispenser. Make sure there's nothing in your dispenser, just empty it out and that should reset everything. So let's get into it. So let's take a look at what it's going to take in order to build this thing. You are going to need one observer, two dispensers, one comparator, two hoppers. You're going to need a, a bit of glass. You don't need 32, but you're probably going to need at least 10 to 12 just to be safe. Uh, one lever, one single piece of redstone, believe it or not one lava bucket you're going to need one button it doesn't matter what flavor you're going to need a crap ton of eggs you're going to need a couple of stone slabs you're going to need whatever blocks you're going to be decorating it with and then although it's not necessary i think it's nice to have one redstone lamp oh uh you're also going to need the chest that i had all that stuff stored in as well so uh, starting with your location, pick the place where you want uh, the it, where you want to be facing it. Go ahead and dig down one block. Place your chest there. I'm going to go ahead and dig out the block in front of it as well. Now you're going to shift or sneak place a hopper on top of that, and then you're going to put a half slab on top of that. And coming around behind that, what you're going to do is you're going to put a block down and then you're going to put a dispenser facing into the half slab. Come around behind that and you're going to put down a block and you're going to put the comparator facing outwards away from your dispenser and then that's going to go into a block with a spot of redstone on top of it coming back to the front again okay coming back around to the front uh go ahead and take your dispenser the second dispenser and oh i'm sorry your observer uh, place the observer so that it's facing that redstone block just like so and then your second dispenser goes on top like that If you removed your half slab like I did in order to get up there Go ahead and put that back coming around to Whichever side of it. It honestly doesn't matter I'm gonna go around to my left hand side and you're gonna place a hopper into the side of the bottom dispenser now Functionally, this thing is actually entirely complete. That's all that it takes in order for it to work. But we're gonna test it out just to be sure. So in order to test it, what you're gonna do is in the top dispenser, you're gonna put two unique items. I'll go ahead and put these two hoppers. And then what you're gonna do is drop a different unique item into the hopper on the side. What should happen is both of the items that were in the top one spit out, which they did. And then uh, you should also get the one item spit out from the bottom one, which there's my redstone right there. It did. Now, yours may have gotten caught up into the chest like it's supposed to for whatever reason. Mine didn't. 
Now, as far as closing this thing in, you're going to want glass here and here so you can see what's going on. And then you're going to also want to put a half slab here. If I can sneak place it. And then you're going to want glass there. And you're going to want glass there. Now the rest of this you can decorate however you like. As long as you're not using any kind of wood. I didn't mention that in the beginning. But there can be no wood at all in this build. The reason that we can't use wood is because wood will burn with the lava and obviously burning our contraption that we're building is not good. So we're going to build up around this. I'm going to put blocks on top of here and then I'm going to put half slabs surrounding it because inside of there is where we're going to take all of our eggs and we're going to throw them in in order to hatch our chickens. Now, once you've got a couple of chickens in there, what you can do, of course, is you can always take seed and you can feed those guys. But do always make sure that you have enough of a um, ceiling, so to speak, so that they can't ever jump out. It might also be helpful to put blocks on the diagonals because sometimes entities can get forced out of uh of of corners corner areas so um coming around to this side what we want to do is if you're going to do the redstone lamp go ahead and place it on your bottom dropper like so and that's also where you're going to put your lever now the purpose of that is when you turn that on it's going to lock this bottom dropper so that anything that falls into it is going to stay there so if i were to drop those eggs in there we should see that all of them are staying in there so if you turn the lamp on basically that is a way for you to collect eggs rather than cooked chicken and then closing this up around this side what you're going to do is that block i just placed over the top uh dispenser i believe i called it a dropper earlier it is a dispenser you, that is where you're going to put the button. Now, the purpose of the button is a reset. Every now and then, if two things get stuck in uh, passing through at the same time, it will leave the lava on, which I've just realized we forgot to put in. Let's go ahead and put our bucket of lava inside our top dispenser, then put the block on, then put our button. So here's what happens. Adult chickens on this side lay an egg. The egg passes into the bottom dispenser, right here. It gets into the dispenser. As long as you don't have it locked, the comparator lights up, the redstone lights up, the observer sees it, it pulses one time, which turns on the lava. And then when the dispenser is empty, the comparator turns off, redstone turns off, observer sees the redstone goes off, fires a second pulse to suck the lava back in. Now, any baby chickens that are standing on the half slab will not get burned by the lava because they're too short, but any adult chicken which has grown up already, he will get burned by the lava, automatically cooked, and his delicious food will get absorbed by the hopper, which looks like I may have accidentally broken. Nope, it's there. And uh, all the feathers and cooked meat will end up in this chest right here. If you do use the... Uh, lever in order to store eggs when you turn it off make sure you come around and empty the dispenser otherwise the machine is going to get stuck now notice my lava is stuck on that's what the reset button is for go ahead and reset that lava and that's it you're done you can finish closing this up remember that when you have uh, spots like this you will spawn entities so it's probably a good idea once you have enough chickens in there to go ahead and just cover the whole thing with half slabs and there you go now you have an automatic chicken cooker it will automatically breed uh, cook and store all of your chicken for you as long as you are in the area this thing will be functioning just check on it every now and then to see if it has to be reset but that's it guys i really hope that this helps you i hope that you get lots of delicious yummy chicken uh i'm animus j make sure to hit that like button if you're new around here make sure to subscribe but that's it i'll see you next time